Why do we like chocolate so much? Chocolate is perhaps the world's most favorite food. Kids love it and parents stand by it. Whether you are happy, sad, excited, tired or plain bored, a bar of chocolate is all you need to feel better. Chocolate's 4,000-year history began in ancient Mesoamerica, present-day Mexico. It's here that the first cocoa plants were found. The Olmec, one of the earliest civilizations in Latin America, were the first to turn the cocoa plant into chocolate. They drank their chocolate during rituals and used it as a medicine. Centuries later, the Mayans praised the chocolate as the drink of the gods. Mayan chocolate was revered brew made of roasted and ground cocoa seeds mixed with chilies, water and cornmeal. Mayans poured this mixture from one pot to another, creating a thick foamy beverage called chocolatel, meaning bitter water. By the 15th century, the Aztecs used cocoa beans as currency. They believed that chocolate was a gift from the god and drank it as a refreshing beverage an aphrodisiac and even to prepare for war. No one knows for sure when chocolate came to Spain. Legend has it that explorer Hernán Cortés brought chocolate to his homeland in 1528. When Cortés returned home, he introduced cocoa seeds to the Spanish. Although it was still served as a drink, Spanish chocolate was mixed with sugar and honey to sweeten the naturally bitter taste. The Spanish kept chocolate quiet for a very long time. It was nearly a century before the treat reached neighboring France and the rest of Europe. Following France's lead, chocolate soon appeared in Britain at special chocolate houses. As the trend spreads through Europe, many nations set up their own cocoa plantations in countries along the Ecuador. Here is how the chocolate is made. After fermentation, the beans are dried, cleaned and roasted. The shell is removed to produce cocoa nibs, which are then ground to cocoa mass, unadulterated chocolate in rough form. Once the cocoa mass is liquefied by heating, it is called chocolate liquor. The liquor also may be cooled and processed into its two components, cocoa solids and cocoa butter. Baking chocolate, also called bitter chocolate, contain cocoa solids and cocoa butter in varying proportions, without any added sugars. Much of the chocolate consumed today is in the form of sweet chocolate, a combination of cocoa solids, cocoa butter, or added vegetable oils and sugar. There are several types of chocolate. For example, milk chocolate is sweet chocolate that also contains milk powder or condensed milk. White chocolate, although similar in texture to that of milk and dark chocolate, does not contain any cocoa solids. Because of this, many countries do not consider white chocolate as chocolate at all. Dark chocolate is produced by adding fat and sugar to the cocoa mixture. Unsweetened chocolate is pure chocolate liquor, also known as bitter or baking chocolate. It is unadulterated chocolate. The pure ground roasted chocolate beans impart a strong, deep chocolate flavor. It is typically used in baking or other products to which sugar and other ingredients are added. Excessive consumption of large quantities of any energy-rich food, such as chocolate, without a corresponding increase in activity to expand the associated calories, can increase the risk of weight gain and possibly obesity. Manufacturers may add other fats, sugars and milk as well, all of which increase the calorie content of chocolate. Consumption of chocolate may also increase the risk of dental health problems. Cavities are associated with high sugar intakes, so chocolate products with high concentration of sugar increase the risk of dental caries. There is also evidence that regular intake of chocolate can cause tooth discoloration. So why do we like chocolate so much? We crave chocolate because it's good. It tastes good. It smells good. It feels good when it melts on your tongue. And all of those feelings are the result of our brain releasing chemicals in response to each chocolate experience. Eating chocolates releases some hormones in your body which make us feel good. Chocolate can also serve as a stress buster for some people. That is the reason most people like chocolates and crave for them. 
Chocolate does contain theobromine that can increase heart rate and bring about feelings of arousal, caffeine which can make us feel awake and increase our ability to work and focus, and fat and sugar which are preferred food sources for humans because they are calorie dense. Chocolate is lauded for its tremendous antioxidant potential. The higher the cocoa content, the more health benefits there are and the less sugar content, which is better for overall health. Mmm, yummy!